Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will introduce the distribution of emergency power and the page of the feeder panel. Emergency power on board can be divided into direct current power and alternating current power. Direct current emergency power is supplied by the batteries. Emergency diesel generator supply for alternating emergency power bus. In VLCC engine room simulator, emergency power supply is shown in the following pages. ID90 page demonstrate the DC 24 volt charge and discharge panel. Its role is to charge and discharge emergency DC power supply and distribute the electric energy. ID92 page is emergency generator system, including emergency generator set, auto start control panel, battery charger for emergency generator, and the thermometer, manometers, liquid level gauges, tachometer of the prime mover and other operating parameter display instruments and display page. ID93 page is emergency generator control panel. It can complete operations such as sweet power supply state of emergency generator, alarm confirmation and reset, emergency shutdown and menu automatic conversion. ID94 page is emergency AC 440 volt feeder panel. ID95 page is emergency AC 220 volt feeder panel. ID96 page is a page of engine room emergency ventilator control panel and H1 power distribution panel. The engine room emergency ventilator control box located in the emergency generator room. The H1 power distribution board located in the third floor of the main engine room. We put it here to optimize the page layout. Firstly, let's take a look at the feeder panel on the emergency switchboard. It includes emergency AC 440 volt feeder panel and emergency AC 220 volt feeder panel. This is emergency AC 440 volt feeder panel. On the emergency AC 440 volt feeder panel, there are main switch and indicator light for shore power access. This is a shore power circuit breaker closing indicator. This is a shore power source available indicator. The phase sequence detector should be observed when accessing the shore power. If the green light is on, it means that the ship and shore electricity have the same phase sequence. At this time, the shore power main switch can be closed. If the red light is on, the phase sequence of the ship and shore electricity is opposite. At this point, if shore power accessing will cause all the motor reversal, causing a serious malfunction. Therefore, closing is not allowed. It. Down below are some circuit breakers. These circuit breakers are responsible for the distribution of emergency power to various emergency equipment. For example, generator engine prime lubricating oil pump, generator engine diesel oil pump, number three main air compressor, etc. This is AC 440 volt feeder panel. Now let's look at the AC 220 volt feeder panel. On the left is a circuit breaker for the transformer secondary winding. On the right 
is a corresponding 220 volt equipment. These include main control console, emergency generator charger power, battery charging and discharging board, and so on. This is the introduction of emergency power distribution and feeder panel page.